one of the easiest decisions I've ever done. Vincent Company, David Silva, and what they have done for the history of this club. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Being a city changed my life. I'm proud of what we did together, and I feel emotional that it's being recognized like this. My time at City was, was special. Um, and my connection with people in Manchester and Manchester uh, itself was quite unique as well. They really were giants of this club. And uh, I think no matter what era, in 10 years, or 20, 30, 50, 100 years, I think one can always look back at this era as a very special era in the history of this club. And when that happens, we need statues. When I first saw the statue, I felt good. Uh, I think it was like, like me, uh, real. This statue really represents the way I like to play. I love the pose the sculptor has chosen. Uh, it really me, reminds me all of those times when I was in, on the pitch playing, you know, and that moment when I had to find the, 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 the striker. I didn't really expect to be, you know, uh, recognized by such a great club in, in that way. My wife is from Manchester and my kids are born in Manchester. And they go back to a place where um, they can see something that represents what, what their dad has achieved. That is something that I, I can't describe. When we talk about David and, and company, they're like actually the definition of a, of a legend. So when, when I heard statues, it, you know, it couldn't be more justified. The first time I saw the statue, I was, I couldn't believe how big it was. But then again, I'm a big boy, so yeah, fair enough. And then especially the pose, you know, for me, it means a lot. We all know the passion and enthusiasm that he played with, but he also had a level of composure, and I think that calculates all of them factors and emotions. Having a husband with a statue at the football club that you've supported since you was a child is surreal. The sculpture, it means so much to me personally. When he did that pose, it was the relief of he was delivering something to the supporters to say goodbye. So I'm just really grateful that that's, that's the pose they've chose. See that statue of him in the pose is just effortless. The way he played football, it just sums him up. That left foot. Because of the way that Andy Scott works by bringing together all these tiny, tiny pieces of steel, there's this really nice resonance with this history of mosaic in Manchester. It's a place of manufacture, a place of fabrication, and that's something that you also see in the making of these sculptures. You know, it puts things a little bit into, you never have a time to look back at something you've achieved. And for the very first time, I can look back and say, hey, this it was cool. It was, uh, it was pretty unique. I am sure it will even look good in the Manchester rain. <laughs>